Good morning and welcome once again. Today is Sunday, August 2nd, and we are uh, in August already. Can you believe it? But uh, I want to welcome you once again. My name is Sam Agulian. I'm a pastor of the Armenian Evangelical Church of Las Vegas. And these days, because of COVID-19, uh, we are still in lockdown, but um, our church and our hearts are open even though the building is closed, but our hearts are open. And we invite you every Sunday, God willing, of course, uh, uh, we invite you every Sunday, starting eight o'clock, Sunday morning at eight o'clock, to have a time of devotional with us. Of course, um, I know that uh, I've, been, I've been getting phone calls and, and letters saying that we will love to come to church and see people we want to be together yes folks you know we all want to be together we all want to have that that fellowship together that bonding together we want to see and greet one another but uh, we also have to think safety so right now uh, our council and our board our church leadership felt that uh, it is best that we take a break but we will let you know when the church doors are open and we would like to welcome each and every one of you. I uh, appreciate all the prayers and all the letters and all the phone calls that we've been getting, encouraging us to uh, uh, have these devotionals together. Uh, think about it as uh, the, the, the church coming into your house. You know, you've been going to church all this time and you've been uh, worshiping and having fellowship with fellow brothers and sisters but this is now different. Now we, the church, is coming into your house. And I want to thank you for welcoming us into your house. And hopefully that these devotionals will help us all. Not just uh, me, but you, but all of us will be uh, kind of uh, filled with God's Spirit and His Word. But today, I'm going to conclude. We've been doing a series on the a book of Romans. And today I would like to conclude the book of Romans and uh, we're going to start a new a new book starting next uh, Sunday. But uh, today as we wrap up, as we come to the conclusion, I have chosen a, a passage from Romans chapter 12. Let me read it for you and uh, let's read together. I would like to encourage you to bring your Bibles with you at these studies and you can always take notes. Invite your family, your children to sit down and watch uh, this devotional with you. Which we try not to be long. This is not a long service, but it's a time of devotional, and we'd like to invite you to bring your families, family members, and and uh, maybe you can sit in the living room and you can have your coffee and enjoy your snacks while you're listening. But we invite you to do that. Romans chapter twelve, starting verse one. I'm going to read a few verses, and then we can. Uh, discuss this uh, verse together. Therefore, this is the Apostle Paul writing to the Roman church, and this is the 12th ch chapter. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, and if I may add, sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not be conformed any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Uh, this is one of my uh, probably favorite uh, verses in the, the book of Romans, Romans chapter 12. Um, the Bible teaches us, Scripture teaches us that not just in the book of Romans, but uh, in general, if you read uh, the Scripture, the Scripture teaches us that there are two kinds of people, especially in the in the New Testament. And as we studied the book of Romans, as we looked at the ideas that the Apostle Paul gave, inspired by the Holy Spirit, he wrote the book of Romans to the Roman Christians, and of course. Uh, these these uh, scriptures are for us today uh, as we live in the 21st century, 2020. Um, but imagine something that was written 2,000 years ago is so true today. And Paul says uh, there are two kinds of people. Uh, there's uh, they're, they're the kind of people who are in Christ. They are embedded in Christ. And we talked about that. 
what it means in Christ means to have a relationship uh, with the Heavenly Father through His Son Jesus Christ. That relationship, that access to God, uh, and and having that position that we are God's children. This is what people in Christ meant. So Paul says there are two kinds of people, and Scripture teaches us that there are people who are in Christ. There are the kind of people who are embedded in Him, who believe in Him, and 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 have that healthy relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. They believe in Jesus. They believe in in His Word. They believe in His life. They they want to be like Jesus. So they are they are in Christ. Uh, and these kind of people are the people that we said they have that relationship. And then and then there's others who are against Christ. So you're either in Christ with Christ Jesus and you have that relationship or you don't. And Paul says those who have that kind of relationship, God gives them a purpose. And in Romans 12 specifically, uh, Paul addresses the fact that once we are his children, then we have a purpose. And what is our purpose? Our purpose is to glorify God. Our purpose is to be holy. Our purpose is to become like Christ, to love people and to respect people and to be able to reach out to people and preach the gospel and bring them to the knowledge of the uh, saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. That is our purpose. People who are in Christ, they have um, enjoyed that relationship. So when you enjoy that relationship, when you enjoy uh, uh, the, the, the people you are with, then you tell others about your friends. And we have a friend, his name is Jesus. And if we have that relationship with him, then then we will tell others about that relationship that we have. We want to invite others into that relationship and not be selfish, but be selfless and reach out and bring people to the knowledge of Christ. Because when you are in Christ, Paul says, God will give you a purpose. You are a person with a purpose. Our purpose is to be holy. I repeat myself it's important that i mention it again our purpose in life as christians who have that relationship with our heavenly father through jesus christ our uh, goal in life our purpose in life is to live a holy life is to be like him um, and a lot of people you talk to you say what is what is your purpose in life and a lot of them don't have an answer a lot of them say well my purpose in life is to be happy always uh, well, that's a good thing to be happy always, but you know what? You can't be happy always because there's going to be circumstances in your life, in this world, that you're not going to be happy. But when you have that relationship with Christ, you're not only happy, but you are holy and you have a purpose in life and you have a relationship and you have access to the Heavenly Father. And Paul, the way Paul expla explains this is this, look. If you're a Christian, if you are in Christ, then your pattern, you have a different pattern. Your pattern is not to be conformed with the pattern of this world. In other words, you know, there are some people who just just are, are just followers and, and they do whatever people say. Well, I guess everybody's doing this. I'm going to do it because I guess everybody's doing it. Well, well you know what? Christianity is not about every doing what everybody's doing. On the contrary... Christianity is about doing what God's will is in, in, in life. So not to be, Paul says, we are in this world, but we're not going to be conformed to the patterns of this world and doing whatever the world test tells us, whatever our friends tell us, just be followers. No, you need to be thinkers, Paul says. And the difference is if you are in Christ, then you're a thinker and the Holy Spirit will help you to think and live your way. You are not conformed by the pattern of this world, but you are transformed by the renewal of your mind, which is guided by the... You see, our mind is guided by the Holy Spirit. Why? Because we are in, we are in Christ. And when you're guided by the Holy Spirit, you don't think about being happy all the time. You think about, you know what? I'm going to live my life and, and sometimes I'm going to be happy. Sometimes I'm not. But in spite of everything and in spite of all circumstances in my life, whether uh, I have happy moments or unhappy moments, 
I know that I have a relationship and I have a God who loves me and takes care of me. You know what the best example probably, uh, it's not my own example, but the best example that I've heard a pastor say is this. You know, what does it mean to be, not to be conformed, but be transformed, living in this world, but not be conformed by the patterns of this world. Uh, the, the pastor was saying that he was, uh, he loves fishing and he took his boat in the middle of the ocean and as he was uh, in the middle of the ocean trying to fish, he noticed that there are waves. Waves were coming in. And he also noticed that uh, some of the waves and some of the water was 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 coming into onto his boat. So immediately he tried to paddle away and move away from the waves so that he would not swallow water or he would not allow water to come into his boat. You see, folks, if we are in Christ, then we are in his boat. And we're not gonna, we're gonna live in the world, which is the ocean, but we're not gonna allow the waves to come and engulf us and make us sink. We're not gonna sink by the pattern of this world because we're not conformed, but we are transformed. And we're gonna let people to come and join us into this boat. We're gonna tell people to come and join in the boat of Jesus Christ and be in him. Uh, my friend, if you are not in Christ today. You have a decision. You can make this decision today, this morning, as you the first uh, uh, the su the first Sunday of August. You can make this decision as I as I pray with you. Let us all pray. Let us just bow our heads and pray. I, I just want to tonight. Uh, um, last night, as a matter of fact, as I was working and preparing for today for this morning. Uh, a lot of people, I, I noticed that there. I had a lot of messages. So I would like to pray for people who had asked for prayers. You know who you are. Join me as I pray. You can join me and you can lift up your hands and join me as we pray together. I would like to pray for people who have requested that we pray for them. There are people who ask for spiritual growth. There are people who have physical difficulties. You know, we can pray for them, but God is the healer. We're not the healer. And I would like to uh, dedicate this prayer to them. And also, third and final, I would like to dedicate this prayer to those who are not in Christ, who don't have a, a purpose in life. And basically, they're conformed by the ideologies and the patterns of this world. And they just go with the flow. I just like, I don't like that expression, going with the flow. I don't want to go with the flow. I want to go with the flow of Jesus Christ. I want to be transformed and transform people. I want to be transformed by the Holy Spirit and transform others with that. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity that you give us every Sunday, that even though the building is, is closed, the doors of our church building is closed, that our hearts are open and your hearts, your heart is open for us. So we come to you, Lord, we pray for those folks, for those people who ask for physical healing for the people who ask for spiritual healing and finally we pray for those who have not been in Christ and have not accepted you as their Lord and say we pray that today uh, today as they hear this message that they would turn their hearts to you in Christ's name we pray amen well folks uh, as we say in our church every Sunday we say may the peace of Christ be with you so I would like to conclude by saying may the peace of Christ be with you until we see you again. Be safe and take care of yourselves. And uh, like I said, uh, with COVID-19, we, 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 it, is, it is important that we are practical and follow uh, the universal safety and the guidelines, safety guidelines, and uh, make sure that if we don't have to be somewhere, uh, let's not go there, you know, unless we have to go, then go. And if we do, Let's practice universal safety precautions. God bless you. And God willing, we will see you next Sunday, the second Sunday of August.